excited about this M57006 is your item number. We've sold over 15 thousand wow. of these sets. We'd love to call, have you call us because I want to hear if your strawberry experience was good. What did they taste like? Did you get a lot of fruit? We want to hear from you. Um, four easy payments of $4.99, free shipping and handling, and it's nine, they're $19.98. All right. Look at all this stuff we oh my have. Gosh. Oh my goodness. So sweet kiss strawberries. These are awesome. They are flavor-tastic made that word up, but you I'm going to go like it. it. Um, these are full of flavor. The thing about these is they have a little bit higher of a sugar content. And so if you add them to your smoothies, which I love making with my girls these days, they've been hiding spinach in their smoothies in the morning. Oh, nice. Um, but these, you won't need to add any sugar because these are already a naturally very sweet strawberry. Ah, okay. So, I mean, the, um, the plant. This is the yep. plant right here. So you here. get six of these plants and you he see here our strawberry tower that you're looking at now. I love growing them in a strawberry tower, but you don't have to do this. Okay. Now the strawberry tower, what that means is you can see the strawberries growing out of the holes. Can this I get this on QVC.com? This strawberry, do we even know? The strawberry tower? I don't know. If you if I at least check, I don't have a clue. Yeah, you should check. You can get it in your garden center as well. Um, these are sold in all the big box stores or a traditional whiskey barrel. Container. Okay. You can grow strawberries anywhere. So, um, could Jerome, do you mind seeing if we have that one of these on our online? Okay, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> this is a very traditional way to grow strawberries because strawberries are runners. What they do is they like to take their their little stems and they grow out. So, a container is a great place to grow strawberries. Mm -hmm. So, if you have a balcony or if you have a small patio or porch um, that gets full sun, then you can grow strawberries. You don't need to put them in the ground. Mm -hmm. They also work great in the ground. Too. Two, you get six plants. This has one plant in each of these holes, so this is going to be a very full container. The great, great thing about Sweet Kiss that maybe if you've grown strawberries before, June is a typical strawberry growing season. It's when the strawberries will come into fruit. This June with these plants, you'll get a fruit, a few fruits. Next June, you will you'll be loaded. I mean, this is going to be what your plant looks like. You'll be loaded with plants. And then throughout the season, you will get more strawberries. Oh, so and it's just not one and done? Not one and done. That's what's so great about Sweet Kiss. And then in the fall, you'll get this bumper crop where all of a sudden in the fall, you are eating homegrown strawberries, which typically that season has long, long passed. And you're back to buying your grocery store strawberries for very, very much per pint. We just... I think ours at our local, um, I think it was with Organic, I think they were like six ninety nine for one of the two, mm. whatever, two pounds mm. or something. And do you know we just threw half of those? We have them away. They're all just moldy. I oh, I'm so bummed. I know. Oh, can I have one of these? Yes, Is please. that all right? Absolutely. And we've got, uh, so what we've made here, we've, the kitchen has made a deli delicious yogurt parfait, which you see, you see all the homemade chopped mm. strawberries in. It's delicious, isn't it? Oh my it? gosh. It's amazing. They're so mm. sweet and they're crunchy and there's truly nothing like growing your own food at home. Yeah. As you mentioned, with berries, truly, you get a great return on investment. Mm -hmm. It'd be, you get so many berries and they're also, especially the organic kind in the grocery store, oh, so you seven, can be sure. Six ninety nine. Yeah. For you can be sure that wow. these aren't treated with anything. They're not sprayed. They're picked at the exact ripe right time for their ripeness. Mm -hmm. So when you grow stuff in your home, you can be sure that you're getting the healthiest fruit possible. Okay, there's a different fertilizer to this, right? There is. There is a fertilizer that's for fruits and vegetables. And um, is it around? Oh, I guess not. And so it's, right. it's, you can find it. Um, we have a specific Cottage Farms fertilizer for fruits and vegetables. Here, I'll, and so I'll give you some information. It's our called... strawberries can work with that and our tomatoes. Ah, there it is right on the screen. Right. Um, and that is M17424. We've sold over 85,000 of wow. those. There's 40 packets there. And there's a four easy payment plan of seven dollars and fifty cents. Um, because I would think that fertilizing is important for these. They are, yeah. So certainly once these start to fruit, you're gonna to want to fertilize these once every week to ten days. Okay. Um, fruits love these, but these are perennials. Look at that. So yeah, I know strawberries. They come back year after year. Cheesecake, they come back year after year. So what you're getting when you do a lot of times with is our this vegetable for me gardens, to try? that's for you to try. Really? Um, with our vegetable gardens, we have to replant year after year, but we do it because we know it's worth the investment. Hmm. Yum! I know. So good. The sweet oh kiss. Oh my gosh! But with these, mm. they are going to come back year after year. So you're really you're getting these six plants, and mm. they will last you a long, long time, and they will continue to be better year after year. I would have not in Florida. My mom lives in Florida, um, part part time of the year, in South Florida. 
Is that growing season about the same though? The growing season is going to be a little different. In South Florida in particular, Northern Florida will still be about June. In okay. South Florida, everything's earlier. Okay, yeah. awesome. I'm just going to continue. But she can grow these, and she can grow these in a patio. She can grow them in the ground. So we've talked about mm. how they run. So you can already see here with our ship sample how they're starting to, they have these long legs, mm -hmm. these lucky strawberries, um, mm -hmm. and they like to run out. And so, but these, um, in particular, this sweet kiss will not run a bunch. So they're not going to take over your garden. You've heard of a strawberry patch. Yeah. That people had to grow pat strawberries in patches because they would just run and take over the entire garden. Mm -hmm. But these are made to grow more compact and so they're not going to do that. They'll grow to be about six to eight inches. Mm -hmm. They're going to stay very compact. I grew up picking strawberries because my dad had that strawberry patch in the front mm -hmm. of his garden. My dad has, yep. had, a, has a had a big garden. My father just passed away but big huge strawberry patch when I was growing up and that was a thing Saturday morning. Get out there and pick those strawberries. All <laughs> five kids we ought to be out there picking strawberries. But boy, they were good. Yeah. Um, but pick, you pick will one, love these. One. That's right. This is the Sweet Kiss Strawberry Collection from Cottage Farms, um, $19.98. Think about how much you spend on strawberries during, even during the summertime. Oh my gosh, get this. And the second season is when you're going to see all that beautiful fruit. M57006. All right, still to come in the show, here are the four o'clocks. I got to know what these are. We're going to find out if you don't.